Hello everyone, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. My name is Nitin Kaplas. So let's talk about today's problem. A problem name is job sequence problem. So let's read the question first. Our question said, we are given a set of n jobs where job I has a deadline and profit associated with it, right? So in this case, each job takes one unit of time to complete and only one job can be scheduled at a time, right? It's very important. So we earn the profit associated with job if and only if complete the particular job by its deadline, right? So find the number of jobs which we completed, right? And associated maximum profit, right? So that we just have to return the two things, okay? So in the note part, we are given the job will be given in the form of job ID deadline profit associated with that job, right? So deadline of the job is the time before which job need to be completed to earn the profit, right? That's the node point here. Okay, so let's directly go to the input parts. That's are the test cases. Before test cases, let's first understand the rules, right? Three points which question gives us. The first is one unit by every job, right? One unit. Okay, it's the first point. Second point is only one job can be assigned at a time, right? Okay, and the third point is uh, that will be uh, the time with uh, what's the starting time, right? So, for example, here the for example the first thing is given to us is deadline, right? The first thing is the deadline, right? After that we have the profit, which is uh, parallel to it, right? So this is the deadline and it's a profit. So its deadline is for example one, right? So here the question said you always start with zero, right? So for example you are starting with the zero, your deadline will be one p.m., right? Okay, so that's your deadline part. Here the deadline is 4. Either you completed your first job 0 to 1 or 1 to 2 or 2 to 3 or 3 to 4. But that question said you just have to complete your that particular job before your deadline which is 4, right? Okay, let's see here. So for example, if you see in the first example, right? In the first example, we just given the deadline which is 1 and 4, right? It means the maximum deadline we have is 4, okay? So let's try, let's make the array a bit of it, right? So here simply tell us the timing. For example, this is 0 to 1, 1 to 2, and 2 to 3, and 3 to 4, right? So if you focus here, 4, our deadline is 4. We can complete my that particular job here, 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 right? Any other part, we can complete it, right? So because we have four options. So let's assume we complete that particular job, which is very close to it. Okay, so which is 3 to 4. Okay, so let me write here the profit associated with this 20, right? Okay, after that, when we are at i equal to 1, right? Uh, so here the deadline is 1, right? It means we just have to complete that particular job before 1, right? It means we have only one option, right? So right now we have nothing. So let's write here 10. Okay, when we move forward, its deadline is also 1, right? In that case, what we have to do is, uh, we also have this particular option, right? Only one option, but I want the maximum profit. But if you see here, we have 10, but the current value will be given 40 profit, which is biggest, right? I want maximum output. So let's replace 10 with 40, right? Okay. Now, if you move forward, again, the deadline is one. So the profit is 30. So let me check that particular range will give me 40, but the current is 30, which is less. So no need to update that, right? So if you see here, rest, for example, all are zero, right? So you just build these two things and all the values, which is 60. That's your output, right? Okay, so let's assume the one more example to understand the problem better. Okay, so in this case, my maximum deadline is two. So let me write, okay, let's make an array of size two, right? Because we have only two options either completed 0 to 1 or 1 to 2, right? So let me write here this array, right? This is 0 to 1 and 1 to 2, okay? So in the first case, deadline is 2. As I said, just make sure to complete which is very close to it, right? So I will close in terms of 1 to 2, right? Okay. After that, we have 1, meaning we just have to complete one option is there, which is 0 to 1. So let's write here 90. After that, we have 2. 2 means you can complete 1 to 2 or 0 to 1, right? So can I write here 27? Just check. Can we write 27? No. Why? Because I want maximum answer, 
that particular one to do will give me 100 right which is very big right so no need to update this part when we move here i can also complete that particular task here also right 0 to 1 but let me see the value it which is 19 it's very small so let's update your 19 with 27 okay now when we move forward we are here only one option is there we have to complete here so its value is 25 here 27 no need to update because 27 is much bigger right so when we move forward it's 15 only one option which is 0 to 1 it's 15 no need to update at the end what's your answer sum of all which is 127 that's the output right so similar just do the trend for this case right uh, hope you uh, done till now okay so let's understand how we can solve this problem so if you see the dry run okay so let me write the third case also so we have three options 0 to 1 1 to 2 or 1 2 to 3 so first is let's add here 100 after that we have 50 only one option which is this right after that 2 which is 10 so can i replace this no can i replace this no so just see what i am doing right i see can i replace no can i replace no because both are bigger than 10 when we are here only one option this can we replace no right so when we move here 3 3 means you can complete in 2 to 3 so let's write here 30 after that your out, uh, loop will finish sum all that's your output which is 180 right that's the thing which we have to do now our constraint is see the constraint part our constraint till you just have to complete that particular task in n log n right okay so how we can solve this problem so let's see so see let's first do the first test case right this test case we are doing so what i am doing is i simply sort my array sort the array in terms of in terms of your deadline so in increasing order right so let's first do that so when i do that particular task my array will be so let me erase this for a couple of times okay so let's sort this first after sorting this your array will look like this so one will here 140 130 after that 420 right so this will be my array after sorting in terms of your deadline okay now this is my first step then now see what i am doing is i simply make a min heap second step is why we have to make a min heap after that you understood let's create the min heap right now just assume that right we just have to make a min heap after that you understood why we are making min heap, right now see when i traverse my loop i am asking right so for example we know that our first agenda will be let me write here the your array part or uh, the maximum value is 4 so let's create the size of 4 which is 0 to 1 1 to 2 2 to 3 and 3 to 4 right now the first thing is what's the deadline it's one i know that we are sorting this and we are just filling from start to end right so my for example current part tell me like uh, uh, what's your deadline part right right now we have current one right it means that here i'm asking okay your deadline is greater than or equal to my current they said yes it means that particular thing right now it's empty so what i'm doing is i simply add here can we add this yes so in that case what i'm doing is let me create a min heap right so if we create a min heap my 10 will be go into the min heap right now okay so this is just a pictorial representation but uh, in my coding part we just push that particular 10 into my min heap right after that see when you fill that particular part right now my uh, your range will increase by one right because this is already filled 0 to 1 is already filled now my current will increase to 2 and uh, while traversing right now i am here right now i am asking that particular deadline is greater than or equal to my current they said it's not right so it means that key that particular job is not finished in that part right it's only this range only this range right but if you see the previous dry run what we are doing is we just ask from that particular uh, value which is 10 hey are you smaller than my current they said yes okay then uh, you update that particular thing remove this and update this so similarly what i am doing is i am asking from your min heap right please tell me your topest limit right because at the end of the day i just want the maximum output so i am asking from the min heap cutoff 
hey, you are smaller than my current element. They said yes. So in that case, what I'm doing is I'm popping it and simply add 40 inside this, right? So what I tell you here is let's replace from this part, right? Right. So after that, when I move forward, right now I'm here, I'm asking, hey, you are greater than equal to my current. They said no. It means the range is also in 0 to 1, right? So I am now asking from my min heap part, your minimum element from your min heap is smaller than that 30. They said, no, I have the topest element, which is 40, right? But it's 30. No need to update it, right? And we all already know, okay, because 40 is in this range, right? And it's 30, no need to update, right? After that, when we move forward, we have four. I'm asking your deadline is greater than my current. They said, yes. It means you can add that particular value here, 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 any other value. But what I'm doing is I simply do that particular four and adding into your min heap, right? So your min heap will look like this, right? And at the end of the day, you added all the things, all the valid jobs in your min heap, right? Which gives you the maximum output, right? At the end of the day, you start to add all the things, which is in this case. So how many jobs you do? What's the size of this, which is two and the sum of this, which is 60 that are output. Okay, let's do the uh, one more dry run, right? So let's take second example. So let's take this example to understand the problem better, solution better, right? So the first step is sort your deadline in terms of your deadline, right? So the one will came here and after that 120, after that we have 200, after that, we have 210. After that, we have 330. Or oh, let's replace a bit because we just focus on my uh, deadline, right? So assume like this, right? After sorting this. After sorting, what I'm doing is I simply make a pictorial array, right? So the maximum is 3. So it means the size is 3, 0 to 1, 1 to 2, and 2 to 3, right? That's it. Now, when I run my this case, so I'm asking, okay, what's the value? Right now, my current value is one, which tell me you have this range right now, right? I'm asking, is this greater than or equal to my current? They said yes, right? So what I'm doing is let's add one, that particular 50 in that range, which is 50, right? So what I'm doing is I'm adding 50 in my main heap, right? After that, I am here and I'm asking uh, before going forward, I simply increase my current, which is two right now because that's already filled, right? So when I'm here, I'm asking, your deadline is greater than my current. They said, no, it's not. No, it's not equal, right? So it's smaller. So in that case, it means that particular one will be filled before it, right? You just have to replace your, uh, these items, right? These items, or we can say that which already filled in your min heap. So I'm asking your Minimum element from your min heap, which is at the top of min heap, is smaller than your current. They said no, no need to replace, right? Just go forward. Right now I'm here. Now I'm asking, your deadline is greater than or equal to current. They said yes. So simply add that particular 10 into your this range. And uh, we just add into this. So minimum heap will be look like this. And uh, this will be 10 and 50, right? After that, we are here, right? So this is 2. And uh, if we add it, my current will be increased, right? Which is three. So I'm here and I'm asking that particular thing is greater than this. They said no, right? So right now I'm asking, right now I'm asking, right? So can we did that particular hundred here? So can we add? Yes, we can. So what I'm doing is just replace that particular thing with hundred. How? I'm asking when we go to the else case, I'm asking. Your topest element means the minimum element is smaller than my current element. They said is pop this and add 100. After that, your min heap will look like this, right? In the else case, we just have to ask it and pop it and push that particular current element because we want maximum amount, right? So after that, we are reached to this case. And I'm asking your current will, your deadline is greater than equal to three. They said yes. So simply add that particular 30 here, right? So what I'm doing is add 30 here. Your minimum heap will be look like this, right? And simply check how many elements we have, how many size we have PQ, which is three. It means you're, you've done the three job and simply add all the elements in your main heap that give me 180, that's your answer, right? 
so hope you understand the intention what we have to do so let's code it now so the first step is simply sort your array in terms of your uh, deadline so let's create here comparator function so in that case let's make the comparator function okay so here we have arr or we can say that job contains c here or uh, in the upper part we are given the three things uh, structure contain three things id dead and profit right so let's create here t1 that is first and uh, we have job which is t2 so that we can compare and uh, we just want to in the increasing order right so what we have to do is t1 dot dead should be smaller than t2 dot dead right so in that case simply we sort my array right after that let's make a priority queue which is min heap right now i hope you understand why we are using the min heap because i want the smallest element to replace with my current right so this is my minimum heap right now after that what we are doing is simply traverse my array right while traverse my array i just want the first current value which is right now 1 right and i am asking here if my array of dot dead is greater than or equal to my current in that case what i am doing is it means there is space simply add that particular in your uh, min heap right so what we have, have what we have to add profit in this and when we add the profit simply do the current plus plus right so that we can move ahead else case what we are doing is we just have to ask from the previous thing right or we can say that in your a uh, min heap right so in the min heap i am asking if my array of i dot profit right that particular thing don't have space so i am asking if my minimum element in my minimum heap right it's it's smaller than my current then what i am doing is let's remove that particular minimum element and push that particular array of i in my profit right that's the thing which you have to do right at the end right uh, the task is completed right now my minimum uh, min heap will build and uh, simply the jobs will be pq dot size will give me the jobs how many jobs we done and the profit so let's make the profit right now zero and here i am asking pq dot empty till it's not finish right simply add the profit into it which is plus equals to pq dot top right and uh, let's pop this and at the end we just have to return the two things that is first is jobs and the profit part yeah let's check it's working fine or not okay oh compilation is good let's submit it okay yeah it's submitted right so now let's talk about the time complexity if you see clearly here what we are doing is the first step is sort the array which take n log n because we have n elements right and after that we make a priority u which is min heap right inside this uh this will take maximum n log n time right so okay after that in this case while traversing my pq right and it take maximum uh, order of n right so the complexity is your time complexity is sorting take n log n and your minimum he will take maximum n log n in that case we add all the things in my uh, pq right and in the third case it take order of n because we just traverse my minimum heap right so we can say that it's order of n log n right and the uh, space we are using we make a minimum heap right uh, in the worst case we add all the elements in my minimum heap it take order of n right so i hope you understand the solution and intuition thank you so much